Let's talk about the Sprocket Rocket, and Lomography just released two new color variations. Let's dive into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Sparkle Rocket. <laughs> and first things first, this is not sponsored by Lomography at all. I purchased this with my own money, not even from them. I bought this on eBay. So full disclosure there, this isn't sponsored. But Lomography, if you want to sponsor me, reach out. Lomography just announced uh, a two new colors and a restock because I guess they were a little t tricky to get for a long time. Now, um, <laughs> I don't mind the yellow. I kind of dig it. However, the new colors kind of fit my vibe a little bit better and I wish I had waited like literally a week or so, uh, but that's okay. Now let's back up a little bit. What is this Rocket Rocket? Well, this is a 35 millimeter film camera. Any long time viewer of this channel is gonna go, whoa, 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 Chris, I thought you are an instant photography channel. Well, kinda, it became that. But I originally started out doing instant photography and some film photography and kinda took a break from the film and focused on instant photography. But I made it a goal this year to bring it back, start shooting with 35, 120, and other types of film outside of instant film this year. So I picked this up to just kinda kick things off. And I haven't had a chance to get out there and shoot because it's been awful weather, it's still winter, but uh, I still wanted to talk about it today. So the thing that drew me to the Sprocket Rocket is its uniqueness. Uh, it is a panoramic or ultra wide angle camera, but it also exposes the entire frame, the sprockets included. And if you don't know what the sprockets are, those are the little nubbins that advance the film inside the camera. Well, this will expose those too. And I think it gives a pretty cool, unique look. It's considered a toy camera for its simplicity, but that's kind of the reason I like shooting film photography to begin with. I love the toy aspect of it and the low fineness of that style of photography. It's really, really cool. The way it operates is ridiculously simple. The shutter button isn't even a button. It's more a lever or lever, depending on where you are in the world and how you pronounce it. And the shutter is fixed at one hundredth of a second, or you can kick it over to bulb mode for those long exposures if you're into that sort of thing. And the way to use the bulb mode, you have to push the lever or lever down and hold it and without moving or bumping the camera. <laughs> Could be a little difficult. Flipping this over, you will see you have another lever or lever. You'll have a cloud mode and a sun mode. That's just for different apertures, depending on your weather conditions. Cloudy mode is a F 10.8, and if you kick it over to the sun mode, I believe it's F 16. Now looking at the front of the lens, you have a couple options for focusing. You have zero to six meters, and then one meter to infinity pretty self-explanatory. However, you can kind of mess with it and find a middle ground uh, if you want. I think I saw online, if you put it right in the middle, it's a roughly around 25 meters, somewhere in there. Uh, do some research and some of your own tests because it's not labeled, but you could do that if you wanted to. I also noticed someone talking about, uh, if you're in like a group setting and you're kind of taking some stuff, like at like a table of some kind, uh, like maybe at dinner, out with your friends, at the bar, hitting the club, uh, you could put it into 0 0.6 to one meter, but push it forward just a little bit. And it's a much better distance for focusing in like a group setting. I haven't tested it. That's just what I read. Now on the back, it does have a window to see what film you have loaded in your camera, which is really cool because <laughs> I tend to take a while to shoot my film and I forget what's in there. Um, but I kind of have some concerns with that, like light leaks could be a potential issue. Play it safe, you can just put a little piece of black tape over the front of it and you don't have to worry about it. But it's a neat little feature. Probably test it with like some black tape and then without tape to see if there is a difference. That'll be in a future test. Uh, viewfinder is right over the lens, which is really nice. So it helps you with your framing. You don't have to compensate for anything. It is a plastic ultra wide angle lens. The film door isn't a door really to speak of. It's more of a separation piece. <laughs> cover. Now I have uh, some concerns of light leaks from this as well because it doesn't really seat all the way in on the top. So I might play it safe and put some tape over the crack, the seam line, and uh, help potentially with light leaks. I don't know if it matters, but it just seems like a pretty good gap. 
It has a film counter. Now keep in mind, this is a panoramic camera and it actually cuts your film down in half. Basically for every one shot, it will be two photos equivalently to your roll of film. And to help you gauge if you have advanced your film far enough, there is a secondary window and you're looking for a white dot. And once you see that white dot, you've advanced far enough and you can take your next shot. Now this one is what I had to really look into this. I'll be honest, I don't know how this works. It seems like witchcraft, but this mount on the top is not a cold shoot. It is a hot shoot. And that means you can put a flash on here and it will communicate with the camera. I don't know how that works. I gotta look into it more. It seems like witchcraft because uh, there's no batteries in this camera at all <laughs> none whatsoever and apparently that works so i gotta test that and look into it but it seems pretty cool and the best part about this camera is it's only like 80 bucks and i think they tend to go on sale sometimes from lamography so keep an eye out on that i think it's a steal for the price and for what you can do with it and the photos that you're seeing are actually sample photos provided from lamography this is not sponsored by lamography full disclosure is always always a thing here on the channel. No trickeries, no tomfooleries, everything is transparent. But I do get the press release kits for when they release new products. And uh, these are the test photos from them directly. Uh, not shot by me, but man, you just can get some super cool, crazy unique photos from this. I can't wait to shoot with this thing. It just seems like a blast. And the cool thing is, there's a variety of different colors out there that you can get. The only ones I could find at the time I bought this was black. And I found one of these on eBay, uh, which was like this yellow color. Now there's even two more announced that you can pick up right now directly from uh, Lamography. I wish I waited. <laughs> I wish I had waited to buy it. Nonetheless, I think this is cool. I can't wait to get out there and shoot with this thing. Um, I'm actually gonna be heading out to Seattle and then from Seattle down to San Francisco to Policon. Yes, in March, Bay Area, uh, 2024, depending on when you're watching this video, probably should say that, 2024, Bay Area, <laughs> Policon. And I'm gonna be bringing this with me and shooting with it and amongst other stuff. It's gonna be really, really cool. And be sure to tune in for a real world use of this coming in the near future where I'm gonna be taking this on the road and uh, shooting with it. I can't wait. But do you have one of these? Are you gonna get one of these? There's a link in the description to pick one up if you don't have one already. And let me know if you do and the photos that you shot with it. Tag me on Instagram. Would love to see them. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Now, get out there. Make some art. <laughs>